Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm with Cisco, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to configure single number reach on CCA 3.1.1. Uh, single number reach is uh, similar to call forwarding, or for most of you, it might seem like call forwarding. But what it actually does is when a person places a call to your IP phone, um, the UC500 uses a second line and places another call to your either your cell phone or some other remote destination that you choose. So <clears throat> if you have a uh, if you have all FXO lines, uh, it will use the first one for that inbound call, and when it goes to single number reach, it will use a second FXO line to place that second call. So if you have a SIP trunk, same thing goes for that. It'll use two channels. Um, and if you have a PRI, it will use two channels also. So keep that in mind. So if you only have one FXO line or for your office, you wouldn't be able to use single number reach unless you have like a SIP trunk or a separate PRI. So just keep that in mind. Um, also for your incoming dial plan, uh, make sure that uh, if your make sure your incoming dial plan is set up correctly. So if you have a number that's going directly to your IP phone. Just make sure that that's set up right. Um, just letting you guys know. All right, so I'll let you um, I'll let you know how it works. So we'll go to users and phones here. Um, I have my test phone, my CIPC. You have to make sure that um, your CIPC or your IP phone has the active voice mail box set up. So and a valid extension. So as you can see, I have my user ID password set up um, and my voicemail is enabled and it's going to 399, which is my voicemail pilot number. So we'll close that out, close this. Once that's done, once we verify that, we will go to single number reach. I've already set it up, but it's a real simple configuration. Um, we'll go to edit. <coughs> Here is where you would uh, you'd have a drop down box normally. Uh, since I already entered it here, you'd have a drop down box, and then you'd just select whatever phone you've set up in users and phones. Um, MAC address will auto populate. Your extension will auto populate, but your remote destination will not. So over here, uh, since I don't have two cell phones, I typed in the number to UPS. So um, that number will always pick up. So you'll you'll understand how single number reach is working. Uh, another quick caveat, so we have remote, we have this delay before dialing to remote destination, and then we have this other uh, uh, call forward to secondary destination delay, and then the secondary destination here. So this is the amount of time uh, it will take before the second number is called. So if someone calls into your office, it's not going to call your cell phone right away. It will wait five seconds and then call your, and then call your cell phone. Um, the 30-second delay is how long will it ring your cell phone before it attempts or before it brings this call back to 399, which is your voicemail pilot number? This section here, this 30 second timer and the secondary destination will work only if you have a SIP trunk or a PRI. If you have an FXO line, it will not work because the UC500 cannot, the FXO line connects the call immediately. The UC500 does not know. Uh, what the status of the call is once the call is initiated. That's also stated in the Cisco documentation. Uh, I don't have the link, but um, when you go to set it up with an FXO line, um, this call will just keep ringing your cell phone until it goes to voicemail. Just figured I'd let you know before you spend hours trying to configure that. So let's see how it works. So we'll hit OK. Um, we'll hit OK here bring up my CIPC, minimize this, <clears throat> actually before I show you that, once it's, all, once it's been set up, you're going to have a new key here, it's going to say mobility, and this is the way you disable or enable mobility. Um, so 
So if you disable it, single number reach will be off. If you enable it, it will be on. Right now it's asking you to disable because it's enabled. Um, if you go under, I believe it's under um, extension mobility. I'm sorry, under my phone apps. And we go to single number reach. We'll see the number that we entered in uh, in CCA. So you don't always have to go into CCA to edit this number. You can edit it right from your from your phone. So let's see how it works. I'm curious. <coughs> So right now I'm calling uh, CIPC from my cell phone, <coughs> and UPS should pick up in a second. Thank you for calling UPS. Para continuar en español, prima en nueve. Well, what would you like to do? So as you can see, UPS picked up. Uh, my CIPC is still ringing. And right now, the person on the other line is talking to my cell phone. Say if I go back to the office, <coughs> um, <coughs> if, I'm on, if I'm on my cell phone, I'll just resume the call. <coughs> Since the call is resumed, let me mute here. Since the call is resumed, uh, we're off our cell phone, and the cell phone hangs up, and right now we continue the call in the office. Say if for some reason you want to go back to your to your cell phone um, and you're going to leave the office again, but you don't want to transfer the call, you'll go to mobility and you'll send the call back to your mobile phone. And you will see that the call is now being placed on hold and the UC500 is making a second call. And as you can see, it, it transferred the call back out to UPS. So it didn't transfer it, it just placed the second call out to UPS. So again, if you want to resume the call, we can hit resume, pull that call back. Um, but we'll just end it right here. And that's the way single number reach works. Hope you found this video helpful.